Welcome to Louisiana. Here in the deep south, the Mississippi River ends its long journey to the sea. This is also oil country. One day the world will use fusion energy, but here and now the world needs oil and gas. There are 4,300 structures in the Gulf of Mexico. This is one of them. What lives below is a thriving ecosystem. Estimates suggest that put together there could be the equivalent of between 50 and 150 miles of reef. It all adds up to a huge habitat which supports a massive amount of life. Swimming freely through the wells is like flying through a forest, complete with shoals of fish, flying like birds through the structure. The fish find food and protection from predators within the confines of the rig legs. Despite its image, Oil and gas production in the Gulf is highly regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency and the United States Coast Guard. Spills are almost non-existent. Two of the biggest producing platforms in the world, in 2001, spilled between them a total of 0.8 gallons of light oil from the burst hydraulic hose on a submarine. Many people dispose of more waste oil from their cars into the sewers illegally each year. Many other fish make their homes in many of the nooks and crannies that the rig affords. The rig provides structure for encrusting life like barnacles and enemies and coral. If we're talking marine pollution, look instead to farming. An industry perceived as clean and green, yet deliberately dumps millions of gallons of chemicals daily into the Mississippi watershed, most of which is washed straight into the rivers. 